welcome back Ooh. welcome back to my channel uh today i'm going to be doing my october favorites yes um i have a lot maybe a long video pause it go get tea go get oh i forgot to grab my tea <gasps> one second okay we're back got the tea Whew. i'm all scared well let me start with tea then because obviously i forgot about it um so I've got two favorite teas that I've kind of been drinking all month, all year, kind of. Um, well, it's very interested in this one. Um, there is a tea shop up in Fort Collins called Happy Lucky's Tea House. It's all loose leaf tea. They can make you your kind of, kind of, I'm gonna kill you. Hey, how about not near the camera? Thank you. It's up in Fort Collins. It's a lot of loose leaf tea. Um, they can package it to whatever weight you want. I got three ounces. Don't focus, never focuses, whatever. Um, and you can, if you have old tea that you're no longer drinking or it's past its expiration date, you can bring it in and that gets you a discount towards your new tea. It's awesome, I love it. Um, I believe you can order it online too. Um, so if you're not in the Colorado area, or you're not close to Fort Collins or whatever, you can do that. I will have it linked below. It's awesome. The people there are awesome. I love it. Um, this, I have like four or five different teas from them right now, but this is the one that I've kind of been drinking all the time. It's an almond black tea. It's so good. Um, they also give you like the brewing instructions. So I have, so it says for a perfect cup of tea, it's like one teaspoon of the almond black tea for two to four minutes with the water temperature at 212 degrees. It's awesome, I love it. It smells like almonds mixed with black tea. It's magic. Yes. So what I'll usually do is I'll brew it in my little teapot and then I'll add a little bit of cream and a little bit of honey. The honey brings out the sweetness in the almonds so it just kind of sweetens it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but it's fantastic. Um, since it is a black tea, it does have a little bit of caffeine in it, so just think about that when you're drinking your tea. Um, and then another one is the Downton Abbey's Mrs. Padamore's, um, Padamore's Pudding Tea. It is a black tea with caramel and vanilla flavorings, and it's amazing. It's on the sweet, it's kind of a sweeter one, like the almond black tea, but kind of not. Like, it's a completely different tea profile, even though it is a black tea. Um, this one I'll do the same thing with the cream and um, either sugar or honey. I think this one's a little bit better with the sugar because the honey won't kind of um, contradict the flavors that are in here. But you only need a little bit because the vanilla and the caramel are so good. <sighs> I guess we'll go to body care and skin care and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. I have fallen in love with Soap and Glory. I know I'm super late to the party, whatever, sue me, whatever. Um, I use the hand food for work in the winter, like kind of just any time because my hands get super, super dry with having to wash them all the time for work. Lifesaver. Love the scent, love everything. And then I also, you know, had to get the body butter because mm, it's magical. Um, Ulta was doing a sale on these a little while ago. I don't know if they're still on sale or not. Um, they are not sold at Sephora. Yeah, so Ulta was doing a sale on them. I don't know if they still are. You can't get it at Sephora. I believe you can get it at Target or Walgreens. I'm not 100% sure, but I know Ulta has it for sure. I have also been using the Peaches and Clean Deep Cleansing Milk. I will first remove my makeup with a Neutrogena makeup wipe. And then I will go in with this. It says it melts away makeup. It's magic. Um, I love it. It's moisturizing. It's cleansing. Um, love it. And then I've also been loving the... Vitamin C Facial Wash. It does have a little bit of like the microbeads, which I know aren't really great for the environment, um, favorite candle right now is Autumn by Bath and Body Works. It smells magical. 
the description on the bottom says a festive color is about to start with the coming season celebrate with the fragrance of bright red apple cedarwood and notes of uh, firm fern balsam mm. it's so good you just have to go smell it this is a candle from last year so i really hope that they still have it in stores or like, i'm really sorry if they do have it i'll link it because it's magical and i love it and it's just it's beautiful please hold someone's opening their garage below me makeup wise it's kind of been the same thing for the past few months I have gotten a few more um, samples from Sephora to kind of try out and see if I like them cool so I've been getting I have gotten a couple samples from Sephora I did get the Bobbi Brown foundation I really like this one the only thing I don't like about it is that it makes me a little bit more oily or I can, um, it can very, very easily cake up on your skin if you're not careful. And then the other one, I don't, do I have any of this stuff? Yes, it's the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I've used this in the past, love it, still love it. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to decide which one I want next for kind of my fall or winter, um, foundation I will let you know once I kind of decide that um but baby lips I live for this I leave it in my nightstand and I put it on before I go to bed or if I'm just lounging in in my bed I'll kind of put that on or I'll do my Burt's Bees just original be beeswax one they're awesome they're amazing I love it um I use the cover or yeah cover girl lash brush volume i don't like the waterproof one of this i just like the original black the original black one i don't i think the waterproof one it's i don't know it's just it's not my favorite i don't remember why but i just i don't personally love it that much oh sorry my foot was falling this like man so yeah i just like the regular one i get in in black because black lung muscle duh whatever um, as a setting powder, I have been using the Chanel, um, Universal. It's just a translucent powder. I love it. it. Makes my face matte, keeps it matte. It's brilliant. And then this is going to come to no surprise to some of you, but the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics, the, um, Champagne Collection Face Palette. Y'all. Y'all don't even know. Um, I love it. I usually mix Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. If you haven't tried it, just go to Sephora and try it. It's the most magical color. Um, I have been falling in love again with my Bite Beauty um, Lippy Sticks from last year's holiday collection. It's actually what I'm wearing today. It's a mixture of Aubergine. Sure. And Cafe. I put cafe on first and then the darker one on top I've kind of added a little bit more as you've seen through my videos because this is not the one I'm filming today because girl is on a roll um next we'll go in with essential oils um as you guys see or saw I did do a video on them these are kind of the ones I've been using the most lately and it's just kind of I've been using them at night to diffuse and what I'll usually do is I will either um I will use the Respiratory Ease. Um, this is great for if you're like getting sick and trying to like get over a cold. It really, really helps. I've been using the lav uh, Lavender from Florahana along with the Sweet Orange. I'll usually diffuse these two at night just so that the Sweet Orange gives a little bit of a sweeter scent. and But you still get the effects of the lavender and the calming for the lavender. And then if I'm feeling real fun, I'll either mix um, Cedarwood or Bergamot. Sometimes if I just want like kind of more of a woodsier vibe when I'm trying to fall asleep, I'll do that. It's awesome. Um, and then something else I have been getting into is crystals. Um, I am still kind of figuring out my crystal, my crystal vibe, what I kind of feel with them, but I have been really loving learning about them, collecting them. Figuring out what works for me, how they work for me, kind of going on that spiritual journey with them. It's awesome. Uh, one of the ones I love the most is the Black Tourmaline. It keeps me grounded. It kind of puts me in check, kind of just 
keeps me rooted to the ground. It's awesome. I love it. Another one I have been loving is Aquamarine. I just, I love this color. If I could just like throw this on my walls and have it just be this turquoisey, golden, beautiful color, I would. Aquamarine is great for trying to communicate and like getting what you really want to say out. Um, it really helps with your communication skills and um, that kind of stuff. But it also is just a beautiful color. I mean, look at it. Look at it! Another one that you have to have, even if you're just starting out, is Amethyst. Um, this is an Amethyst cluster. They come in like the darker colors like this or it can be even a lighter, lighter purple. They're all beautiful. Um, amethyst is just, it's just a great crystal to have because it just helps you kind of, it helps you release your negativities, your addictions. It kind of helps you promote just being better. Like it kind of just works off of everything. It's really good. It relieves your, it relieves stress and it's a protection stone. And then this mama. This is a giant, gigantic rose quartz cluster. And this is just, I mean, if you don't know what rose, rose quartz is, it's a love stone. It really helps with opening your heart chakra and accepting love or learning to love yourself. Um, I usually sleep with this next to my bed to just kind of um, feel like better, love yourself more, you know, that kind of stuff. And then I've also been loving Apophyllite and Stillbite. The Stillbite is the beautiful little peachy um, little clusters in this one. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's really, really good at increasing your intuition, connecting with your higher guides. Um, it's awesome. I love it. It really just kind of, I mean, along with just looking beautiful, it just kind of helps you kind of reach your higher spiritualness is that a word um but yeah i love it i'm still kind of going on my crystal journey so if you want to know more or or you want me to do a video on it or anything like that or you kind of want to know what books i've been reading to kind of find um my spiritualness and what i believe in and kind of like that realm of of life let me know and I'd be more than happy to kind of let you guys in on my journey and what I've been feeling and just kind of how I've been going about finding it and everything like that. So let me know. But that is my October favorites. Sorry it's long. Thanks for watching. You're awesome. If you have any other um, questions, need any more info on any of the products I mentioned, I will have links or you can just message me in the comments and I'll try to respond to them. And give you a little bit more information or I'll just do a whole other video on it depending on um, what kind of question or is if it kind of is a cool question so let me know if you have any video ideas any suggestions but I hope you'll have a wonderful November winter is coming so get your warm on but I love you guys so much have a wonderful rest of your afternoon where do you find this Ugh. Why? Why? God, Lee, can you just like go? What is this? What? How do you? Are you... <sighs> go, go. Like I, I don't under, I don't understand. No, you, no, no. Um, 